What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Rishrath, and if you haven't subscribed or liked this video already, go and hit that because you already know it's going to be a good video. Today we're going to be making a game, and it's going to be part one. It's going to be a survival game, so let's get right into the video. Nice transition there. So let's go ahead and get right into the video again. And first thing we're going to do is start that counter GUI. Now, what we're doing is recreating the game initializer that I did a little bit ago. I believe it was like five days ago. I don't know, real time. And we're gonna go insert a text label along with a local script attached to it. Awesome. So we have that. I'm gonna leave the text label like that. You guys can make the game however you want. I don't really like to go too much into detail with things because I'm not the most creative person. Without further ado. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the replicated storage here, insert a folder. If you watch my previous videos, the one with the game initializer, you'll notice that this is the exact same thing that we're doing. So we're just incorporating it into a game. Create an int value. We're gonna name this countdown. Leave that as a zero. Then we're gonna go ahead and insert a script into the server script service. And this script is gonna be called, eh, I'll just name it game starter. Awesome. Now, when we start coding, let's go ahead and go over to the game starter here. And let's go ahead and say local countdown equals game dot replicated storage not replicated first go values it should auto complete here and we're gonna wait for child because the replicated storage replicates items across the server so it does take a little bit depending on your server and your computer speed that's why we have to wait for the child because it's not always going to be there I'm gonna start my game in 10 seconds and we're gonna do this for loop, oops. And we're gonna say countdown dot value, make sure it's capital V equals I. Equals I, not if. And make sure to add that end statement. It's gonna go ahead and close that off. Awesome, so nice for loop. And we're gonna say if I equal equal one then local map number equals math.random. And now there's many ways of doing this. You can do the count, but for this, we're gonna say one, two, about three, or two. Now this is how many maps you want. So this first number will always be one, but this third second number will always be the amount of maps you have in your game. Speaking of maps, let's go ahead and head over to the workspace. You see, I'm just in an empty base plate. We're going to go and insert a folder named maps. Now we're doing everything all over the place because we want to see how we would actually make the game. Everything is processed together. You can't just write one script and then just fill in everything later. That's not how game making works. We're going to name this current map. And actually while we're out here, we're going to go and go to the toolbox. Let's go and search up a map. I'm going to pick a small one so my computer doesn't go crazy with the fans. It's a nice little map. I'm gonna go ahead and move him over there. And I'm gonna name him like, did the map name, keep in mind, I'm gonna name it map one. And you see this part right here? I'm gonna go ahead and move it to the center. <laughs> you guys should just create a new part. And I'm gonna go and name this part. We're just gonna spawn here. So it's gonna become spawn point. I'm gonna make sure to turn the can collide off so our, our player isn't like, dying inside of this part awesome so we have map one but we can't leave it out here so we have to go to a to the replicated storage insert another folder named maps we're keeping the game as organized as possible i do apologize if you can hear my computer fans in the background and go ahead and drag this over to maps if my computer isn't so slow awesome now you'll notice it will go away do apologize for the lag in the video. I'll try and cut out as much as I can. 
And you see that simple map just lagged out my computer. And I'm gonna create an, another map with, you'll notice how it's different. I'll go over here. I'm gonna name it map two. And when I name it map two, I'm gonna pick a random part. Now this part, I notice how it is inside of another model. We can't do that. We have to do, actually I just picked this part. I have to put it in the map's original model. It's not letting me do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename it spawn point like I did the other. Do apologize if you can hear my computer fans. And make sure you rename it spawn point. Keep in mind the spelling. You can change it up, but make it consistent. And as you can see, we have spawn point inside of this model. It cannot be inside of a model, inside of a model, inside of a folder. No, it has to be in the original model. That's how the script is going to find it. So now we should have, if we search up, we should have two spawn points spelled the exact same inside two different maps. Now we're going to drag this map two maps, not inside of map one. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's lagging so much today. And now we should have map one and map two inside of the maps. Awesome blossom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the game starter here and inside of the game starter, we're going to go ahead and continue. So I have two maps. If you have three, four, five, whatever FPS maps or whatever, you go ahead and change this number to if you have four, put four and then put four maps in there. And we're going to say if map number equal equal one, it's the first map. We're going to say game dot replicated storage dot maps dot. We're going to find map one. We're going to clone that dot parent. Now you can copy and paste these for the rest. Workspace dot current map. Make sure it's not just workspace. It's going to be current map. I'm going to have to save time. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. This way you can keep consistent with your ifs and ends. I'm going to name it two and I'm going to name this two. So what we're going to do is if the map is one, then we're going to go ahead and find map one. We're going to make it a clone. We can spawn map one. Then if it's map two, we're going to find map two and make it a clone. Then we can use that map. Now, after you know the if statements, you should have a wait statement right here. And that wait statement is just for the timer. And we're going to say for I, v in pairs game dot players get players do auto end should be there so now we have three we have two ends and then a wait and then another end total of three after the four loop and we're going to say character dot upper torso dot c frame capital c and capital f equals workspace dot map dot current map sorry find first child of class this is why it's the find first of the model that's why it can't be in a folder or anything else put model here and we're going to name spawn point keep consistent with your spawn point name all right remember if you guys are having an issue with the spawning probably spelled C frame wrong. You have to do two capitals. It's a C and an F for both capital. Spawn point here. This all looks good. And just remember guys, if you guys are still using R6 in your game, which I'm sure everyone has updated R15, this is only for R15. So if the spawning is, if you're getting an error that torso does not exist or upper torso is not found, a nil value, you're gonna have to replace this with torso and replace, yeah, just replace that with torso but I'm pretty sure everybody's updated, so it's upper torso. Alrighty, so now we have that. We have the game starter. We're gonna go to the local script now. And when we go to that local script, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing as the counter. So we'll go local countdown equals game dot replicated storage dot values. And we're gonna wait for that child. We're gonna wait for countdown. And we're gonna go ahead and say countdown dot changed connect function. Now, uh, just a little break right here. I just wanna say that I'm creating a, a game, an open world game, it's a driving game called Koji. It's gonna be cross-platform, but I need your guys' help creating it. I don't know why I put, I put parentheses here in the code because I use Unity a lot. 
So uh, you have to put parentheses. But if you ever see parentheses in the if statement, it doesn't have to be there. Now we have the two ends. And if the countdown is greater than or equal to one, we're going to say script.parent.text equals countdown. Countdown. Say dot dot countdown dot value. And you're probably wondering why it's a lowercase. I'm not really sure about this one because I tried the uppercase V because that's how it's supposed to be for the int value, but apparently it doesn't take it. So I guess we'll go lowercase there and add the if statement as well. We're going to if else script dot parent. So this means if it's less than one, we don't want to say zero. So we'll just say that the game has started. And we'll say script.parent.visible equals false. Uh, let's go ahead and add a wait statement here, actually. This is a thousand subscriber special, if I didn't mention that. It's a thousand subscriber special. I'd like to thank everyone for the support and subscribing to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and join those thousand plus people. Go ahead and become a Rishraf subscriber. Now we have the local script, we have everything in order, the game starter. And it looks like we're all ready to go. So it's going to pick a random map. I'm going to actually make this text scaled so that way I can actually see because I do have some vision problems. Now, before we actually test it here, let's go and head over to your game starter and go and check your code because I actually did not get a correct code. So it's actually game and it's actually going to be a colon because of it's a built-in function. So game dot, sorry, players, colon, get player, get players. Now we'll go ahead and test it out. And loading in here, it's not always going to start at 10. Uh, I mean, it does, but the loading screen takes it off and everything. So just keep that in mind. And awesome. So we spawned in here. Uh, we spawned at the random map. And it could have been the other map. But we spawned at this one, and this is in case the first one. So I had a 50% chance of actually spawning here. So now if I restart the game, it could spawn me at the map one again, but it all depends. So this is the end of part one. I would like to thank you guys all for subscribing to my channel. Really means a lot. Donate that to that Kickstarter. If you have any questions, join the Discord. Keep an updated link, and it spawned one again. So just math.random. So... Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Be safe during these coronavirus times. Um, make sure to be safe, everyone, and I'll be dropping part two next. Peace. Listen.